Hey guys, in this lesson, we take a look at how to apply basic shading to a face in Anime Studio. Alright, so creating shading for a character in Anime Studio. This has been one that's been highly requested by our viewers, and this particular lesson will focus on the base shading for the face. We'll then focus later on in later lessons on how to do secondary shadows, highlights, and then eventually bind everything to your bone layer for your character. So to get started, you will first need to have a character made up and ready to go. And in this case, we have Marley from Buddies, which again is Jim Mill's cartoon. And we have basically everything here in this bone layer. Now, when we do this, we'll be creating different vector layers for the different areas of shading. You can actually just use one layer and put it on top of everything else if you wanted to. It just depends on how you want to approach it. But first, we will just come down here to our layers and we will locate the head because that's where we will be doing all of our work for this lesson. So we could put the shading on the head layer itself as well if you wanted to do that. But in many cases, it may be easier to make another layer for this. So we'll go to New Layer and choose Vector, and we'll just name this Face Shading, Facial Shading, whichever, and then hit Enter. So now, from here, in this new layer, it's all a matter of making this outline for the shading. Now, you'll first want to figure out where your light source is going to be coming from. That will determine in many ways what the shadow or shading will look like. So for this particular tutorial we're just going to pretend that the lighting is coming from this direction hitting his face in that manner. So we'll begin up near the hair and we'll draw down and we will come over the eyebrow and then circle down towards the eye here go up towards the eyelid, and then we'll just kind of make our way around like so. Since the face is kind of turned that way, that's how we're going to approach the eye. And it's really a matter of playing with this too. You can see we're going to connect the shadow kind of near the bottom, a little bit over halfway in the middle of the face, and then we can just bring the outline back up, and we can go around the ear, We'll be having to do the ear separately a little bit later here, but we can apply it now and then just use it later. So once you do this, you can take the curvature tool and come in here and just tighten things up, make sure everything's lined up. And we can see here that we forgot to connect these two points, so we can just bring them back like so, make sure they're connected. And it's all a matter here of just kind of tightening things up and making sure all your points, you know, are matching so they're not outside of any of the outlines. And making sure that everything, as you can see, is just kind of working and not outside any of the boundaries. So this can take some time. And this also gives you the opportunity, too, to play with the shadow because you may want a different shadow. You may want it here or over out more towards the nose. It really just kind of depends on your character and the lighting situation that you're trying to apply here. And again, this is a 2D character, so you know it will take some finesse on your end to kind of get this to look like there's actually shading going on. So once you've done this, you can use the Create Shape tool. And as you can see, this probably won't work for our shading. <laughs> so we'll come over here to the Style panel and choose a black fill color and turn the stroke off. And with the fill color, we can bring the opacity down. And it depends on what you're doing here. Now let's say headlights were hitting our character. You're gonna probably want then a darker shadow, you know, bring it up to be more extreme. But if you're going just for, let's say, just kind of like a natural light or just a basic light hitting the character, nothing too extreme, you'll wanna bring it pretty low then, the opacity. Also, for your effect, if you want, just depending on how you want it to look, you could add a soft edge. In this case, we would just add one. 
for this if we were to do this. And you can see it kind of gives a softer look to the shadow. But that's kind of a personal preference. And right now, we'll leave it at zero just because we want to leave it there for now. We may change it later. It kind of depends on how Jim feels <laughs> as he goes through and applies these shadows. And that's really what it's about a lot of the times is playing around with it and seeing how things will look later on. So now we'll start the second shadow on the face and that will deal with the eye. So there's usually shadows, you know, dealing with the eyes on each side. So we'll come in here and add one at the top where the eyelid is going across the eyebrow. Use the Create Shape tool and remove that stroke. And we can come in here now with the Curvature tool and just sort of tighten things up there with the eyelid. And then we can bring things in and just play around with it so that it matches what we want here for this character. And as you can see, we're playing around with the other shadow as well. Just all a part of the territory. You're going to continually to play with these things until you get them how you how you want them basically. So now for the nose, this is going to be a little bit trickier. You could get really detailed with the nose if you wanted to, but we'll just do something a little bit more simple for now. We'll start near the right side of the nose here and just kind of loop around and come up like so and create a shadow underneath the nose like that. Take the curvature tool, we can tighten some of the edges up. Take our create shape tool, click, Create shape, stroke off, and again, make sure that you have the same color, the fill color for these shadows so everything is consistent. And you can see so far everything is looking pretty good in terms of how the shading is coming across here on the face. So there's also some other things we can do too with the drop shadows, but we may approach that in a later tutorial. Right now, we'll just concentrate on the cartoon shading. So we'll continue on here now with the chin. We can create a slight shadow for the chin. We can just come in here, create shape, and then turn the stroke off. Of course, come in here with the curvature tool, that is our friend, and tighten up the shadows and move the points around if need be. If things aren't quite correct, you can always do that, of course. And then we can even add a tiny little shadow here to the bottom portion of the mouth as well. And we can create the shape. Now, you'll notice when we go to create shape here, in this case, it's not appearing. And the reason why for that is because this shading layer is underneath the mouth layer. So since we're not putting everything over everything, we'll just cut that vector shape out, click on the mouth, and create a new vector layer and we can then name this lip shading or lip shadow and then just paste it in and then of course reduce the stroke then or remove it and you can go in and make your adjustments then and again you could put your shading layer on top and do all your shading on that Jim likes to separate it out so that's why we had to go through with that but you can see here things are looking better. Now, I mentioned the ear hasn't been shaded because the ear is above the face shading layer. So we will select the ear by holding an alt and right clicking just so we're on that layer. And we can go here to the vector layer and create a new vector layer and then choose ear shadow. Now, the ear shadow layer, what we can do is go back here then to the face shading layer once we find that and once you click on the face shading layer what you can do then is you can take that shading you did with the ear remember we went around the ear just highlight it with the select shape tool you can copy and then go back to your ear shadow layer and then paste. And then from there you can take your add point tool and come in here and complete the shape so that everything is closed in and you're going to want to get your lines as close as possible to the original shading and you can just create a shape, remove the stroke and if we render this out you can see it looks pretty good. There's a slight line there 
that's occurring, but we can fix that later on. Now, finally, for the facial shading, we can come in here and we can just simply adjust the point a little bit just to kind of match the roundness with the face on the other side, just to get everything looking consistent. And we can render this out one more time and see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. And I believe that is a wrap. My name is Chad Trofgerben. I provided the narration for this tutorial. Jim Mills recorded, and of course, that is his lovely artwork, and that very handsome man is his own creation from Buddies. If you would like more tutorials, we do have more shading tutorials coming. Again, this is part of a mini-series, so be sure to stay tuned. And to stay tuned, you can visit our website, IncredibleTutorials.com, or you can check out and subscribe to the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. We are also on Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.